Hey, what is going on guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to relock the bootloader, load the stock recovery, and unroot your Motorola Google Nexus 6 smartphone. Now, um, this procedure has a few requirements. In order to unroot and flash stock recovery, it is a requirement that your device also has an unlocked bootloader. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, you can ask in the forum I'm going to show you just now or um, you can look for another method via Google search, okay? So in order to get this started, what I need to do, first off, let me tell you some important things, is that all credits and props goes to Wugfresh on XDA Developers. What I suggest you do is go to this website, register, log in, hit the thanks button for all their hard work, and better yet, donate to them, especially. Because uh, they are constantly updating this program at ridiculous pace, so they're keeping up with all the Android updates. Furthermore, if you have any technical questions, please do not ask me. I most likely will not respond because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how to help you. Any technical questions you have, ask in this forum. You can find a link to this forum in the video description. Uh, the community here is great and people respond pretty quickly to trying to uh, respond to you and help you out. So, um, another thing is that even though you're trying to unmodify your device, so technically it's already modified, if something goes wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, so be following instructions in this video at your own risk. So, with all that said, uh, I also suggest that you back up all your pictures and music and whatnot because they will most likely be erased during this procedure. So, make sure you back up everything possible. So, again, the link to this webpage is in the video description, and this is where you're going to find the original instructions, this is where you're going to ask for help, and where you're going to try to get the link to download the program. So this is a forum post, it's going to go down to the uh, bottom of the first post. It, just in case the developer changes this, you might have to go to the second post. But if you're looking for something basically that says download links, open that page, and you're going to end up here. And you're going to see that this program actually supports a lot of Nexus devices, including the Nexus 6. I'm going to go down a little bit more. You're going to select one of the download links, download it, install it. <clears throat> and the program basically looks like this is if this is your first time running it, the program will tell you to download a few things and it'll ask you, hey, what device do you have? Here you're gonna input the model, which is a Nexus 6, and you're gonna find your build number. To find your build number, it's really easy. You're gonna go to your device. You're gonna go to your system settings menu. Go all the way at the bottom, select about phone. And at the very bottom, there's your build number, okay? If for some reason you're running uh, a ROM, like CyanogenMod or some custom ROM, and you don't know what the build number is, then what you can always just do is hit Auto Detect Device and Build. You, you can always just do that as an option. And when you, when you finish this, it should start downloading some files, and then eventually uh, you'll have these two screens. You can minimize this live log, and you'll have this. If for some reason the program does not recognize your device. Um, I'll show you what to do. Sorry, let me get it prepared first. So you need to have developer options here. If you don't have it, you need to go to about phone and keep tapping the build number until you get a countdown. And when the countdown is done, it'll say you are now developer, press back, go to developer options, make sure it should be off, but make sure it's on. It'll say, hey, is that okay? Press okay. And because you're gonna be relocking the bootloader, I know this sounds silly, but you're gonna check mark the unlock option. It, this is necessary to also relock it, okay? So make sure enable OEM unlock is check marked. Then you're gonna also enable USB debugging, and you're gonna connect the Nexus 6 to your computer using the USB cord that came with the device. So I also suggest that you have your uh, display settings on your phone set to timeout the screen after 10 minutes. Uh, I, 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 it's a precaution to have the screen timeout after a long time. And when you connect it to your device, uh, so when you connect it to your computer, while this program is open, a couple things are going to happen. Um, the first is that it's going to try, your computer is going to try and install the drivers, maybe. And if it fails for any reason, you can always select full driver installation guide. Click it and it gives you a walkthrough of how to fix driver installations and how your computer can recognize it. It looks like a lot of information, but it's actually very easy and this program does a lot of the work for you. <clears throat> Now, under that assumption, if this is also your first time doing this, you might also get this pop-up saying allow uh, the connection of this random serial number. Uh, just click 
always allow and press OK. I don't have that pop-up screen I'm talking about right now because I've done it already. My computer already knows and my, sm my smartphone already knows that I want them to communicate with one another. So if you get the security dialog box, just allow it. It's OK. <clears throat> so we're going to do first, before we can relock the bootloader, we're going to flash stock recovery and unroot the device. But you have two options of doing this. One is if your device is stuck in a boot loop or if it's soft brick. Basically, you think it's broken, it's not doing anything, it won't start up. But I don't have that problem. My device is on and running normal, so I'm going to select that. And click flash stock and unroot. It's basically saying that in order to do this, you have to have an unlocked bootloader, which I told you guys already. I'm just going to click OK. And at this point, it's asking you uh, what kind of version of Android do you want to install. You can select anything you want. Because once we're done with this procedure, if Google has an update available, you can just download the update via your phone. So in terms of the build, I just select whatever's there. I select automatically download and extract. And for the settings, I just leave it as it is, um, as force flash mode. And just click OK. And it's, if you don't have the, the build downloaded already, like you're like myself, it's going to download it. And this could take a while, so we'll continue when it's finished. OK, so downloading um, the stock file took a very long time. Um, even for my fast internet, it took over half an hour. So after coming back, I saw that the device has restarted to this screen. And it's just telling you that to continue, press OK. And if you get any message about um, a missing .sig file, just ignore that and click OK. And this is going to be running a command prompt window. It's going to run a whole bunch of stuff in the background. And I'm noticing that the Nexus 6 is just flashing uh, the screen. Um, from remember this screen on various other Nexus devices like the Nexus 9, uh, the Nexus 7, the 2013 edition, etc, etc, takes a good chunk of time to finish. And the device again is restarting and flashing the screen, so um, just leave it be and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so after a while you get this little notification here saying that your device might restart a few times um, and that'll take 5 to 10 minutes to boot up properly. Uh, for me, my device only started up once and it was done. But it did take a fair amount of time um, because it's flashing the system brand new. Um, for other people, it might restart a few times. So I suggest leaving it for five minutes. Just, you know, go do something else. Like I went back um, making sausage and pepper penne. And yeah, you best be jealous about that because it's awesome. And it tastes great. Um, but anyway, so at this point, if you want to leave it as it is, you can leave it unlocked. The bootloader, I mean. Or if you want to continue on with the procedure, I'm just going to skip all the setup process and get straight into... Um, relocking the bootloader. Okay, so under the assumption you want to continue on and relock the bootloader, you need to get a device set up still. So um, it should still be plugged into your computer. I'm going to go to your system settings menu, go down to about phone, go down and keep having the build number until the countdown finishes. It says you are now a developer, press back. Now you'll see developer options, tap on it. And this should be on. So if it's not, it'll you just basically turn it on by tapping it, oops, press OK. And you want to make sure enable OEM unlock is checked marked. I know we're not unlocking the bootloader, we're trying to relock it, but make sure that's check marked anyway, just to be safe. It allows you to tamper and play with the bootloader. Um, now you're going to do USB debugging, press OK. And you should get this. If, if you don't, you can try continuing with this process, but if you're like me and you get this message, um, I always just say always allow, press OK, and that's that. Actually, no, sorry, not finished. Just to be safe, you can go back and once more, where is it, display, and change uh, sleep after 10 minutes. I prefer to keep the screen on just to be uh, safe, and if you get this media player or uh, access your files kind of pop up, just close it. So at this point, we're ready to relock the bullet. So you can click OEM lock. It's basically saying that in order to do this, you have to first do flash, stock, unroot, etc, etc. We did that, and click OK, and we'll continue when it's finished. Okay, so once again, my device asked me to input my Gmail information and all that other good stuff. Um, so just going through the apps listing, um, I see that there is no super SU, so the, the root access is gone. And I restarted my device, and um, the Google logo when it comes up, or the, the, the Google sign rather, um, there's usually a padlock underneath it representing that the bootloader is unlocked. That has also disappeared. Um, so I have uh, shown you guys how to relock the bootloader, load stock recovery, and unroot the Nexus 6. 
So it basically is if you just got it straight out of the box, uh, brand new. So um, again, be sure to donate or you know and help out Wugfresh for all their hard work because they are constantly updating their program to modify and unmodify the Nexus 6. Not only that, if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.